My patient today is just getting over uh, a hyperallergenic state that was um, just about a week ago, which creates a lot of edema and muscle and joint pain and swelling. Uh, and in particular, her upper body is um, tense and tight and is having pain down both arms. So we've worked together many times and we've been here before. Uh, I, I know this is not a disc issue and that her um, upper extremity nerve stuff is coming from entrapment here under the clavicle and in the scalene area. So what we're gonna do today is open up these upper ribs, open up the pectoral, the clavicular and scalene region. We're gonna work through the neck, anterior, lateral, posterior, up into the head and finish with some jaw work and try and get some circulation and mobility and relaxation to come up into the upper body. So let's start with a couple of nice deep breaths here. I want you to lift your sternum as you breathe. Good. So really kind of expanding the chest front to back as you breathe in and as you breathe out, just kind of letting it fall. We're going to turn the palms up here. Mm-hmm. Because even just turning the palms up will open the front of the chest a little bit and get us a little more opening and relaxation through the front ribs. So keep breathing nice and deep. Here on the right side, I'm starting to key into this right clavicle being pretty stuck and this pec minor connecting the coracoid to the upper ribs is being a little tight. So if you follow any Acupuncture and understand the acupuncture meridians of the lung channel starts right here around the coracoid and comes down the anterior medial arm. So we're going to work that. It's responsible for a lot of upper body tension. Good. Keep the breathing going. And we're just trying to get some movement and release tension from the front of the chest, which is going to allow the upper back and the upper neck to relax a lot as well. Good. Good. Let's do that on the left side. Keep breathing. Definitely not as tight on this side. Oh, until we get to the arm. And here, as soon as I kind of hop onto this biceps chain here, I'm starting to feel a good amount of tension. So you can see the pressure is not deep. It's a little bit more than skin level. I'm more in the fascia. And what you can't see is with my right hand, I've got the medial border of the scapula and I'm mobilizing it outward as I traction down on the arm. And that just helps to get this whole upper extremity moving in relation to the upper body. Nice. Good. Okay. So let's check in with the scalenes here. Never digging in this area. I've got the bundle of nerves and artery right here between my fingers. And I like to locate it so that I know that I'm not pressing on it. And we've got her upper trapezius here is kind of calling our name. I've got my right middle finger behind it and the left pointer on the top. And we're giving it just a kind of a gentle squeeze and release and getting some blood flow through there. And with my left hand tractioning straight down the arm, straight down that way, get a little separation here and open the cervical thoracic junction on the left side. I can feel that there's some adjustments that need to be done in there, but I'm not going to go for that just yet. I want to make sure that we get the muscles ready and get all the joints nice and opened up before we try to adjust things. Sometimes you need to adjust through a lot of tension when it's really acute, but in situations like this, it's better to warm the muscles up first. How are you doing? Good. Doing good. Cool. Let's come back around to the right side. I want you to keep your head heavy. No helping. Okay. So any providers watching this video, you don't need to be afraid to work in the scalenes. Just be gentle. Locate that nerve bundle first so you know where it is. 
It's right here between my fingers. Here I've got her SCM coming here. So the anterior scalene is here, then the nerve bundle, and then the middle and posterior scalene here, and then the levator scapula. And this, right here on this right side, is really tight. I think that a lot of the tension of that allergenic episode just kind of wound up hanging out right there. So again, let's traction straight down the arm, get a little movement between the scapula and the cervical spine. In a very real way, the shoulder just kind of hangs from the neck on the levator, on the upper trap, and indirectly from the scalenes. So it's a gentle push here. I've got the upper trap here at the pad of my finger and the posterior scalene and levator scapula right here on the fingertip. I just want to get some differential movement through there. It's a big trigger point here. And we're not going to we're not going to worry on that point, right? We don't want to overwork anything. We just want to induce some movement and trust that the circulation will come through and that that will recondition the tissues. How long that takes depend on, depends on um, how long they've been dysfunctional. So coming up here in the upper neck, it feels like there's a little adjustment that's going to need to take place right there as well. Okay, so uh, as I put her neck through, this little circumduction, kind of like a snake move, is segment by segment trying to feel where is it really stuck. Particularly chiropractically interested in um, loss of side bending from segment to segment because that really indicates where it's stuck. So I'm right here at C5-6 on the right and there's a, a, a bit of a lack of, of rightward side bending there. And as I come up a little further, it's here on the left side, a little higher, say C2-3. So let's come into this lower cervical segment here. When I was just starting out in practice, I never could adjust if I had any oil on my hands, but I should get a little better. Good, keep breathing. Ready? Yep, yeah. good. Easy. Good, good. Let's come around to the other side. Nice deep breaths. Good. Relax your hands. Good, good. Good. Deep breath up into your sternum, just like before. Now there's just better movement through the clavicles. Here I have her second rib where it inserts on the sternum. And let's get a little movement through there. So breathe right into my fingers. Good. And as you breathe out, it's a gentle push. Good. Stretching the intercostals by kind of catching superior edge of the rib with my fingertips and tractioning down as she breathes in and as she breathes out. Good. Well done. That feels better. Yep. So we're going to look at the jaw now and definitely tension underneath it as well as next to it in the masseter and here the temporalis muscle as well. So it's really kind of this whole circular section of muscle enveloping the jaw. And I'm just gonna start by getting some fascial movement between the skin and the cranium, between the skin and the skull gentle on the frontal bone, here around the temporal bone. There's a little bit of fascia between the skin and the cranium. There's a little bit of muscle and that stuff's really important too. Don't want to press too hard. You can see my fingertips are flat. 
I'm not digging. It's more of a grab and stretch. Good. Nice. I'll come around the other side. As I'm loosening up the neck and I'm loosening up the cranials, I'm feeling on her left side in the suboccipital junction a, a pretty dense knot right there. Do you feel that? Mm -hmm. So kind of doing a few things at once right now. I'm going to take my hands off, but mostly I've got my two fingertips right on that suboccipital muscle on her left side between occiput and C2. And I'm gently working that muscle while with my thumb here on my right hand, I'm also working through this SCM and trying, there it goes, trying to induce for her neck a nice neutral position so that it can be okay holding her head up. Doing great. And I think maybe we want another little adjustment here. Okay? Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so let your nose just drift a little to the right. Good, and then the chin up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I want to get that occiput as close as I can to neutral, good, and then give it a nudge. And then there we go. Well done. There we go, good. Okay. So now I'm gonna sanitize my hands and put on a glove. We're gonna do some jaw work, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I got the glove on, I'm gonna open up and a little, little wider for me. And that's good. So my finger is between the teeth and the cheek. Your teeth are really, really just gently together. And I'm really gently, because this is very intense, trying to palpate up into the corner where the zygomatic arch meets the mandible. Can you give me a little clench? And then relax. So with her clench, I located the masseter muscle. I want you to open gently, and I want to feel that mandible glide forward in the TMJ. And wherever it's a little stuck, we just give it a little bit of a assistance, bring it closed, and let's go again. So I'm almost like clearing the way by pulling gently on the masseter as she opens so that it knows to relax and close one more time. And then open again, tractioning her masseter out toward me and giving a little more space in that jaw so that it can glide a little more smoothly and these muscles can relax. And then relax again. Good. So now as my finger gently sweeping the underside of the zygomatic arch, looking for any trigger points in that attachment of the masseter. And just, again, not overworking them, just giving them a little stimulation and a little stretch. Now coming down on the lower part of the masseter where it inserts on the jaw and along its anterior border. And it's tight, but it's, it's yielding as we work with it. It's letting go. Give me one more nice all the way opening. Good. And that's it. And then let that relax. Good job. Is that intense? Yeah. yeah. Is it okay? Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Because we're going to do the right side now. And we're going to do the same thing on the right. Mm -hmm. I'm outside of her teeth, so I'm not worried about getting bit. Okay, give me a little clench and then relax and let your teeth be ever so slightly apart, just like that. Good. So it's my other hand. There's lots of things you can do. Just cradling the occiput gently. And the tip of my pointer finger is right up in the corner where the ramus of the mandible or the body of the mandible comes right into the zygomatic arch. And I'm, I'm pressing with a little bit of pressure, just enough to, um, just enough to invoke the tiniest little resistance in the muscle and giving it a little bit of a stretch from there. Good. So open wide and we're going to let that open. I'm going to get my finger out of the way, close. There's a little bit of a, a deviation as she opens. Go ahead and open again, because there's a little catch on this right side. Mm -hmm. Yep, so we're gonna see about smoothing that movement out. So again, I've got my finger on the inside of the masseter and I'm pulling it out toward the camera. As you open, um, I'm gonna 
give that muscle a stretch by sliding my thumb and finger down and then close. Let's do that again. Good. Nice. Still a little bit of a hitch right there. I'm so sorry. This is so not fun. Close. And then open one more time. And that's smoother. Good. Let's give that one more. Keep your, uh, keep your jaw relaxed. Teeth ever so slightly apart. Good. Okay. Doing okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I see you open one more time? And close. It's still a little bit caught here on the right side, but I think I've done what we can do internally. So let's see about getting a little mobility coming from this posterior approach. Give us a little clench. Mm -hmm. You can see her masseter muscle pop up right there and then relax. So I'm behind the masseter and I'm giving the fascia there a little stretch and mobilization. Yep. Good. Had there been any ear fullness with that allergy stuff that you had? A little bit. A little bit? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Open wide. Good. That's way freer on the right now. Now the left side is actually looking like it needs a little help from the external. Does that feel that way to you? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing on the left. Give me a little bit of a clench and then relax. Okay. Open. Close. Open. And I'm always, as I'm asking people to move a joint, the TM joint, the shoulder, the low back, and close, I'm, I'm feeling for smoothness. I'm feeling for symmetry. Basically, I'm feeling for ease. Go ahead and open. And if the ease isn't there, sorry about that pressure, then we want to see where's the resistance and can we work that tissue. And on the left side, it's the front of the masseter right here. I'm coming from the outside and we're going to get a nice little stretch over the maxilla, the cheekbone, and the zygomatic arch right there. Give us one more and let me know if you need a break, okay? And relax. And now a little more gentle work on the tendon. May I turn your head, please? Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Yeah. On the tendon of the temporalis right here. Giving it a bit of a stretch. Does that feel good? Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, it's nice. Good. Perfect. Okay. Open slow. Okay. And close. Okay. I think we got a lot done. Freeing up the upper ribs, the shoulders, the scapula, the scalenes, both sides, adjusted your neck. I think that last occiput adjustment was kind of important. And then working the jaw. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Any questions? No. No? Ready to go? Okay. We'll see you soon.